Hi, this is Captain Pat with Silver Seas Yachts. And today we're gonna take a look at the new 2020 Princess F45. F standing for flybridge, of course, in the world of Princess. You can see we have the bimini up, but a pretty sleek flybridge. Almost looks more like a coupe. If it weren't for that bimini, uh, she'd really be nice. You can enclose the flybridge, but this particular model does have a very functional lower helm, uh, so no need to go up in the elements if you want to drive from inside. We'll show you that here in a little bit. Hope you enjoy the walkthrough today and uh, look forward to showing her to you in person. And here we come up down on the docks along our port side. You can see for a 45 footer, she's a, a pretty big boat, large swim step. We'll do a quick walk around here, give you a good feel for the whole boat. That's a uh, hydraulic swim platform we're looking at, so that is designed to carry your tender aboard. We also have a uh, nice barbecue station on the back here. And entrances either side. We've got a narrower entrance on port and a regular entrance to starboard here. And coming in, we'll give you a little view of the cockpit. But one of the unique features about this particular boat is uh, hit the button here and you can see the cockpit becomes about twice as large for entertaining. Seat and table slides back. Now we've got the cockpit of a typical 55 footer instead of a 45 footer. Quite nice. Again, you've got gated entry over there. You can see this table folds up. So again, if you wanna open it up a little bit more, very nice. You can do a quick walk around the bow here before we go into the cabin. Got nice walk arounds on it for a 45. Again, plenty, plenty deep, easy to get around. Large sun pad up here, drink holders, little teak trim. Oh, it's all in the details, isn't it? Polished stainless steel ultra anchor. You'll see inside, but I can show you here. We do have opening windows on both sides. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but you'll see it on the inside. Back to the cockpit. And we'll, uh, we'll finish up with the flybridge. We can go ahead and head in here. So obviously we've got galley aft on this boat and uh, 45 footer so we have not one fridge and freezer but two fridge and freezer so although she's a 45 uh, she is designed for more extended cruising uh, being out for a couple weeks at a time and uh, got some nice drawers here unique design there that's really neat I always like those little special touches that uh, makes you appreciate the workmanship that goes into something the caliber of a princess. Yeah. You can see big windows, lots of light, lots of visibility. We talked about that lower helm, we'll get up there in just a moment. Uh, we can show you the TV pops up here right behind there we'll kind of pan back to that here in a moment let you look around while that's coming up here's the uh, port side window opening window that we talked about and uh, same thing here on starboard so perfect position for the helmsman to 
pop his head out, communicate with crew, get a little better sight line. Here you can see your TV up in the up position. And said hello to me on its way up. That's kind of cool. Uh, another little point, so little little details all over. You got a little storage up in there. And uh, look at this, all your wine glasses and drink glasses in here. Everything has its place. Even all the way down to uh, all your dishes, tea cups, coffee cups, everything in its place. Again, doesn't take up storage in the galley. Just a thought out boat. And here we come to that lower helm that we were talking about. Now one of the beauties of Princess and their lower helms, I've run quite a few of them now, is that their lower helms are truly designed to be the primary helm. So your visibility at the lower helm is impeccable. And you will find that if you like to run inside from the lower helm, you will not feel like you have to go up top for visibility or any of those reasons. Your reason for going up top is because it's a beautiful day and you want to be out in the sunshine, not because you have to because of visibility or function. Um, makes it kind of nice. In here we've got our power panel. Hopefully you can see that. Very nicely laid out, very simple for the owner operator. And we'll step down below. We'll start here with our VIP island berth. Nice windows, actually opening windows. You've got port lights in those windows. And uh, hanging locker over to port. Uh, Makeup mirror over here. I try to stay out of these pictures when I can. And you also have this uh, stateroom also has direct access to the second head. This is a two stateroom, two head boat. Door out to the hallway as well there. But beautifully finished tile work and gloss walnut cabinetry. Um, everything top of the line, everything gasketed in here for the door so you don't get any rattles. No noise when you're out running around. Um, really beautiful. Of course, you got a TV in here. Maybe a little close to show that, but. Come out, and again, this is your that same head that we were just looking at uh, right in there. So you have access from the hallway for that one as well. And then we'll head back here to the full beam midship master stateroom. Again, you'll remember we're on a 45 foot boat and uh, this is just really spectacular for this size of a boat. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool when your Ferrari is a two bed, two bath and that's kind of what this particular vessel is all about. Highly finished, lots of performance, lots of function. Beautiful machine. Yeah, I think I could spend some time aboard here. <clears throat> Another hanging locker to port here. Oh, stuff full of cushions, but you can see, clean that thing out. And of course your master head. Again, beautiful tile work, very nicely done. Beautiful finishes. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and head up the stairs here and go check out the flybridge. Again, teak on all the decking back here, teak on the stairs. We did not do teak up top uh, because most people are not covering this. Uh, so again, beautiful helm. Up here, a dual glass cockpit Garmin screens, joystick, 
You've got L-shaped seating here. This also fills in to be a large sun pad. Large seating area back here. And again, this table flips over. Flip that over. And you've got a little bit more of an open deck type setup. You have a barbecue station here. Barbecue there. Storage underneath. Ice box here. Need a little WD-40 on the hinge. You've got pop-up lighting. Everything you want. So last but not least, we'll uh, head down below, pop open the engine room, and do a quick look around down there. And that'll wrap up our short walkthrough of the Princess F45. Twin Volvo IPS 650s. Beautiful setup in here. Plenty of room to get around. Air conditioned units back in the back so they're not noisy up in the cabin. Pod units in the back. Nice setup. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough of the new 2020 Princess F45. If you're working with anybody at Silver Seas or on the West Coast, or give us a call. And if you're on the East Coast or working with one of the Princess dealers over there, I can tell you it's a beautiful boat. And I'm gonna be taking it out this afternoon for a sea trial. So we'll see if I can do a little video on that as well. Again, this is Captain Pat with Silver Seas Yachts. Have a great day and we'll see you out on the water.